I'm going to discuss using fonts and colors in the Pro Realtime platform. To access fonts and colors, go to Template Options. This can be accessed from the Options menu by selecting Template Options. Then simply go to Fonts. You can select different fonts for the platform, the style of the text, and you can also increase or decrease the size of the text. You see a preview here of what this will look like. To go back to the default size, click here. It's also possible to customize the bid ask display style. Bid ask numbers are displayed in the market buttons shown here and also in order books. For example, here we are on futures and you can see that this chart of futures has three numbers enlarged and one in exponential form. You can change that directly from here. To apply your changes, just click Apply Changes. Let's try that again by increasing our font size and applying the changes. Again, if you want to go back to default font size, just click here and click again to apply your changes. You can reset the entire window to default, including the bid ask display style, by just clicking here on Reset to Default. And that setting will also go back to default. There's also a box you can check here to apply the settings in this window to all of your templates. Let's look at colors now. There are several predefined looks that you can apply by clicking on these buttons. Changes will apply immediately for this part, so you can see what it will look like. You can also individually set colors for different things, like general windows, background and text, buttons, background and text, or for example, chart, you can set the background separately for even days and odd days, like this. Here you see even and odd days having different colors. I'm going to reset this window back to default. And you can also set different colors for your lists. You have border color, text color, header color, header text color. These are the headers right up here. You can change the colors for even and odd rows. It's good to have different colors so you can see the difference easily. You can change the colors for the variation, positive, negative. You see the red and green text here for positive and negative variation. Flickering, positive, negative, and no change. And highlight colors. Highlight colors are used when you add highlights to your list. Let me show you that right now. I'm just going to right click here on my list. Choose Highlight, choose Highlight 1 on this one. You can choose Highlight 2 on this one, for example, Highlight 3, and you can customize those colors in the template options. Now let's look at some of the effects. I'm going to zoom in on a chart to show you this a little better. So here I'm going to zoom in on this chart, go back to template options, move this over. So you'll see that when I uncheck 3D effect on candlesticks, the 3D effect is displayed or hidden. Shaded color zones on indicators, you'll see that down here. When I uncheck that, the shading goes away from these color zones. Shaded background affects the background of the entire chart. Anti-aliasing just makes lines look a little bit smoother. You probably want to keep these options on all the time. If you have a computer that's lower than the performance requirements, then it may be a good idea to turn some of these options off to increase the performance of your platform. Finally, I'm going to move this over. Three-dimensional cell style affects the look of the list. You can turn that on or off. To apply changes, make sure you've made at least one change in this window. 
and then click on the apply changes button. If you've not made any changes at all, then this button will be grayed out. You'll notice also that if you try to close the window without clicking on apply changes, the platform will ask you if you want to apply the changes or discard the changes. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.